Hi, my name is Jo and I'm here today to share with you what I am gifting my son for, or what my husband and I are gifting our son for Easter this year. Um, I'm not making this video to be braggy or, you know, I've not spent a lot of money so it's not going to be a video where I'm showing you things that are like $20, even $10, there's nothing here that costs I think the most expensive thing was six ninety nine. There's only one of those, and it was from a thrift store. So, um, it's not to brag or to show what I'm giving him as such, but to give you an idea about what you can give um, a three to four year old. So I am a teacher. I do teach in first grade, and I am certified from toddler to third grade. So I do know a little bit about you know gifts that you can give that are going to help with growth and. Um, de you know, developing like fine motor skills or developing brain skills, those kind of things. And so I thought maybe I could share that knowledge with you. I know it's it's very close to Easter as this is going to go up. I'm filming this on the Tuesday before Christmas. Christmas Easter. Did I say Christmas before? It's very close to Easter. I'm filming this on the Tuesday before Easter and it's gonna probably go up on the Wednesday um, before Easter and that's not a lot of time but <laughs> I'm, I am a teacher. I just went back into the classroom to teach hybrid and that has taken my life. <laughs> so I haven't had a lot of time to share and or even compile his stuff together. It was in like bags around the house. So this is the first time I've got it all together at one uh, at one time. And if you're interested in um, what you could gift a younger child, uh, I will link somewhere, I'm not sure where, um, the video I made last year when Colby was going to be, you know, he was two to three years old. So this is for a three to four year old. Let's start. We'll start with stores. Uh, we'll start with Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is a great place for Easter stuff because it's all a dollar and they have a few really cool things. So I also use Easter as a way to kind of buy things I would buy anyway. And these are things I would buy for my son anyway. So this is uh, paint for the bathtub. This is really cool. You want to get the darker colors. We've brought the like light pink before and it doesn't really show up. But these two show up great. And um, we've been practicing writing his name with these. We like, he likes to do big dollops. So we do big dollops on the side of the bathtub, rub it out, like rub it out, like lay it out, and then use fingers to make letters. So we've been using these in the bathtub to practice the letters of his name, practice finger writing his name. And uh, I, I love these and I buy them all the time. Um, we, we've had no irritation to it at all. Um, what does it say? It doesn't say anything much there. I don't know anything about all these ingredients, but there are. If you want to read it, you can pause and read it. There's a lot, a lot of ingredients. Um, it's made by Crayola, which is a Hallmark company. Not that, that means anything, but we've had no issues, and we love these. So that's that's just a dollar each. Also from Dollar Tree, he really likes the Hot Wheels car, so I like this Uno truck. So I just picked that up, nice and easy. What else is from Dollar Tree? Oh, some stickers, he loves stickers, he loves Mickey Mouse. So I brought him these 150 stickers and there's puffy stickers and then there's glittery stickers and shiny metallic stickers. I know the lighting in here is not perfect, um, but they're stickers and he's gonna love those. Who else is from Dollar Tree? This. Is from Dollar Tree and he found it already and has opened it <laughs> he still has to wait so you can see it's been torn into these are just PJ Masks jumbo playing cards again these are great for memory the game memory just don't use all the cards um, I literally would use like six pairs and play memory with them so that he can practice you know using using his memory in that way to locate things it's a really cool um to do that and you can do it with i don't know you can't really do it with counting with these because usually with playing cards you can count the hearts and you can see you can't you can't do that with these there's one picture for every number not the the number of um the not you know like nine hearts on the nine of hearts so that's a little bit of a negative but he has plenty of cards like that and he loves pj masks right now and for a dollar, this will be fun for playing, just plain memory. 
anything else from Dollar Tree. Oh, and I did show this in a previous haul, but this is an alphabet coloring book. Again, educational. It's got the letters. We can practice now letters. This will work really well for that, and it will be coloring, so it's fun. I'm not gifting in crayons. I know that usually when people give coloring books, they do crayons or markers. Look, we got tons of that. We don't, we don't need any more, so we've gotten the coloring book. I think that's it from Dollar Tree. Let's go to Walmart. This is something else that I am buying. Again, I actually brought him these last year. They are the Sesame Street Fizzy Tub Colors. And uh, it says new now with six colors, which my last one from last year had six colors. So I, you know what? I think it didn't have the yellow. I think I do. I think Big Bird might be new. Yeah, big. anyway, this is what, what it is. It's a tub, and you get the Sesame Street characters. Colby's never noticed the Sesame Street characters on there. He just likes the fact that these do genuinely change the color of your bathtub. Now, we never use one. There's 150 in here. We usually use three in each bathtub. Again, we've had no irritations with this. This was just under $6 from, was it Walmart? Did I end up buying it? For, yeah, from Walmart. I, I, there were a lot of reviews, and in the reviews, people said that their children had um, reactions to this, or the skin didn't like it. We've had nothing. We, uh, nothing. We both bathed in the water with these, no reaction whatsoever. So, and no itching, no, no. Our our skin didn't get dyed. My bathtub doesn't get dyed. So I really like these. And when you're finished, it has like um, you can make a waterfall with it. Um, it's kind of useless. It says makes colorful waterfall, but you can't use that until you've emptied the container. But now he has a container. We can put, maybe we can put one of these in a container and he can pour it out. This is really cool for doing color mixing. So he will do like a, we used to do red and orange. I mean, not red and orange, red and blue and get purple. And now there's a yellow. We can do red and yellow. Um, it's just, it's just a really fun way to talk about colors and color mixing. And he Love seeing what color he can make. So I love these. That's it from, oh no, this is also from Walmart. Now, my tip usually for Easter, because I don't want to spend a lot of money at Easter, is to go the year before and look in the sale. Now, last year, that wasn't possible, right? <laughs> April was, Easter was in April, and um, that was right spat bang at the kind of beginning point of lockdown and the pandemic. Now I take uh, thyroid medicine and I happened to have to go to Walmart for my thyroid medicine and as I walked to the pharmacy part because it's not right at the front, I did see a couple of sale items. So I did pick them up. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna be possible again this year, but usually that's what I recommend doing is, is buying for the next year in the sale part. Um, I'll show you what I picked up, but these are not, I don't think these are very expensive normally. Um, but I got him this straw, and I promise I was not in there for very long at all. Um, I thought this would be fun just for Easter day. It wasn't very expensive, it doesn't give me a, it doesn't give me a price, but I'm assuming I paid less than a dollar. Um, really cool that this is, this is a, is it gonna do a, a woman owned company? Way to celebrate. Oh, it says it's gonna color change. Oh, that's cool. When it's cold, the, the straw's gonna change color. I didn't even know that. So he will love that. And again, color changing. I didn't know, didn't know I brought an educational straw, but there we go. I also brought this for him. Now, I did not buy this for him last year. I brought this probably when he was one. And I know I should know better. Like, I am a teacher, but I'm like, oh, he can have this when he's two. So we've just stored this. We think he's old enough now. It is a wooden slingshot in this nice bag. It is slingshot shot in pom-poms, but we think, Tom and I both think that this year he will have the, um, the coordination to be able to do this. And this was $2.98, but I really think I paid like 10%. I think I paid like 29 cents like seriously and so i don't mind that i've stored it for like three years um here it is i just kept it in with my easter supplies but he's gonna finally get that and then um this is again from the same time i've been storing this for a while this is a coloring book of 
um, Peter Corintel with the paint and it has the story. So I like to gift him a book. This time we can read the book and he can paint the pictures. So we can read it and he can color them as he wants and then we will have like a storybook that he has colored. So I think that's kind of cool. That's it for Walmart. Let's go to Target. I brought this. Now my mum was over from England so that tells you how long. See I literally I store stuff. <laughs> can't help it that's how you save money um my mom was over from England and I brought this and it was before his birthday it must have been July two years ago I think my mom and dad were here yeah it must have been July two years ago and he loves bubbles and he has bubble guns but with Colby they last about a month and then they get broken so we need to rebuy these pretty frequently and this one is from the Sun Squad and it must have been in July it was on sale for 150 I feel like I paid 75 cents but I'm not sure but I have been storing this and I have another one of these like I knew that he loved these so when I saw them so ch so cheap and affordable I was like I will store those so yes, this, but m the most it ever cost was three dollars. So if you wanted to buy one new, that's not bad. And uh, Target gets these every year. Oh, it lights up, and it's a little bit nicer than ones you can find at the Dollar Tree or places like that. It's a little sturdier. I do think that's kind of cool. Um, but he loves making bubbles. And then, last but not least, is the most expensive. Um, thing I brought and it's from a first store and it's this stem so is it stem or does it say math I can't remember what it says it's math it's this they class it as math I'm classing it as math stemmy um it's a Mickey Mouse mix and match um to create over 1,000 combinations I'd like to see the someone do the 1,000 combinations um but it's Mickey Mouse in an aircraft and it comes with oops, I can't hold it it comes with all the parts and you just mix and match to make different types of crafts as the kid on the back playing with this so this is $6.99 you are supposed to be able to go online and do something with your tablet so we'll see that doesn't always work with non Apple products but I do have um, an Android tablet I have a what's it called a galaxy so we'll see if that works um, with that and this does need new batteries I've not replaced them yet but so this is the big gift that he's getting and he's literally getting this because I found it for $6.99 like that's why he's getting this big gift so that was seven dollars don't think I paid a dollar one um, I don't remember what I paid for this let's say let's it's four dollars so let's say a dollar 29 cents I have no clue say 50 cents six dollars one dollar one dollar one dollar one dollar and one dollar so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so i spent about twenty two dollars here so for twenty two dollars i've been able to get him educational stuff fun stuff stuff i would have brought anyway and stuff that i think you'll really enjoy and we do have some chocolate for him as well i think we have a chocolate bunny and some jelly beans but but not a lot of sweet stuff just a, just a little bit and um in here is also something he's getting from easter but this is from his grandparents not from us so i will show you but this is not from us and this is all he's getting from them and it's emily the train because he loves trackmaster loves it and this one was 10.99 and then he's got James and this is the was this a pull along one I don't know what they call this I don't know he's also getting a James and that was $6.99 so that's it he, that's that's pretty much what he's getting for Easter this year I hope this gave you some ideas I'm sorry it's so late coming to you um, but hopefully if there's someone looking for this next year they can see what I would recommend for a three to four year old thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing I usually make videos about fashion and hauls but I do like to share some of my um, education with you every now and then and uh, yeah thank you for watching please subscribe leave a kind comment thumbs up see you in another video
Bye.